Lyric pranks. Lyric prank. Lyric prank. Yes, the fucking song lyric pranks, and today we're gonna have a really short one because I have a lot that I need to do today, but it, it, you were gonna talk about this little topic that has suddenly exploded on YouTube, all thanks to the original work of one large YouTuber, Mike Fox. Thanks for making the internet more cancerous. And even though this little trend is called a prank video, it really has taken on the life cycle of a challenge video. You know, more on the likes of the 100 layers challenge, because one one person did it, and now everybody is doing it. And that's because of how easily accessible this quote-unquote prank is. Seriously, for this prank, all you need is your phone and a person you are willing to exploit for views. And luckily, I have both of those. So prepare for that in just a little bit because I am going to do my own version of the song lyric prank. However, for my quote-unquote song lyric prank, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than these people have been doing. That thing being, I'm not going to stage the prank, I'm actually going to just do it in the middle of the conversation. But there is a ton of stuff that we need to cover about this song lyric prank quote unquote video. So uh, let's just cut this long ass intro and get right into it. Okay, I'm not gonna just sit here and say that every single different lyric prank on all of YouTube has been staged. I know that out there, there are probably a few real ones, but just having the name prank in the title, that should probably symbolize that it's going to be fake. Seriously, with the reputation that the prank community on YouTube has at the moment, you'd probably want to call this what it is, and that's the song lyric challenge. Because with a challenge, you're not really implying anything, you're just doing something that's a trend on YouTube, which basically, this entire prank is at the moment. And by just using the word prank in the title, well, it implies that some staging could have occurred. I mean, honestly, which one would you trust more? A title with the word prank in it, or a video with the word challenge in it. Now besides the fact that they are still pretty cancerous content, you probably said that you would trust challenge videos more. And that's likely because challenge videos on their own, well they don't have the same negative connotation of being faked as prank videos do. So really, why would you choose the word? Does the fact that you're doing it to a third party automatically make it a prank? Or does the fact that you're doing this online trend make it a challenge? And at first I could say, yeah, this is a prank, but now that it's become so popular and a lot of people are doing it, I think that it has slowly become a challenge video and you can correct me if I'm wrong. But now let's get into the reasons why I and a lot of other people think that these videos are fake. First things first, all of these tend to take place on an empty message board. Now a lot of people People say that this is because they had staged the entire thing beforehand and they are deleting any evidence of that by just starting a new board. However, I like to see it as they had a bunch of different stuff said to the person before that they don't want featured in the video. Because really, if you're going to be showing your text messages, some personal conversations could have been included in that, so just starting from scratch really helps, especially in the video if you're talking to your girlfriend or your own mother. But when it's the cases of your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, that you haven't spoken to in months and you say that and even the video I mean it makes sense that you're starting off new because you may have deleted the text from them but a lot of the reactions seem so fake take for example Mike Fox here the godfather of all of these text prank videos keep in mind in this video he's talking to a psycho ex-girlfriend who not only broke up with him but cheated on him with his best friend let's just take a look at this conversation goes along and he uses nothing but the songs lyrics in order which really does not allow for the most coherent of conversations and so the first few texts go by and for the most part these ones seem somewhat believable even though he refuses to answer any of her questions but then even though he completely ignores every single one of her questions she still responds with this look you can do so much better than me i treated you like shit and you didn't deserve it. I regret that so much. Sad face. Now let me tell you, if this isn't staged, then I take this all back and I'm such a jerk for saying this, but really, if this is staged, how big of an egotistical asshole are you? Seriously, if you have to make yourself look like a good person through these texts alone, that everyone wants you so badly, and that apparently you can do zero wrong. I'm just saying you have to be the saddest person in the world. Now again, I have absolutely no way of telling if this is real or fake. It just seems to me that the conversation 
is a little bit out of place. I mean, honestly, just look at these texts. It looks so scatterbrained, you would know that the other person on the other line is just looking at this like, what the fuck is this guy even talking about? Yet she still responds like it's completely normal. And because of this, I just wanted to see how a normal person would react if someone were to just send them a bunch of random texts that, well, doesn't really make sense, and are just kind of out of the blue. And so, because I was unable to connect my phone and record that, I used something else. I used Skype. And before we start, yes, I am going to say that what of the conversation you're going to see is somewhat new. And that's because the person I talked to, their Skype display name was their actual Skype username. So I had to change his name and delete all messages that had his username in it. Because, you know, I'm not that big of an asshole that I'm going to leak his Skype. But to keep relevant for this prank, I decided to go to Google and look up the top 10 songs as of right now. And since Closer by the Chainsmokers was the top song, I went with that. Because, you know, if I'm going to waste my time doing a fucking song lyric prank video, I'm going to exploit it for as many views as I can. So don't worry if this video has a cancerous title because I've already likely jumped off a cliff for actually doing this. So I looked up the song's lyrics and then copied and pasted them into a notepad, you know, just to have this stuff ready to go. And then waited for my friend to get home so that I could message him. And because this was mid-conversation, he kind of reacted a little bit strange. So just check and watch how quickly he catches on to what I'm doing. Hey, I was doing just fine before I met you. Drink too much and that's an issue. But I'm okay. Hey, you tell your friends it was nice to meet them. But I hope I never see them again and at this point, about five lines in, he actually gets it. And honestly, I'm not sure if he actually recognized the song, or he just knew I did YouTube and, well, was expecting this kind of shit. Either way, it still proved my point that if you go into a random conversation just spewing song lyrics everywhere, the person you're talking to is probably going to be extremely confused, as represented here via emojis. Now, this can likely be because my friends are, well, not really normal friends. They basically basically live on the internet as much as I do. My attempt here could be a little bit skewed. So that's where you guys come in. If you think that I did bad on this and you think that my research is terrible, I implore you to try it yourself. Just remember to call this thing what it is. Don't call it a song lyric prank, call it a song lyric challenge. And once you do it, just send me the link and I'll take a look at it. Just make sure I put in the description that you were doing my challenge, and basically you should be good. Heck, next week I'll even feature the best ones that I find. Just please, for the love of God guys, do not stage it. Remember, we're not doing a prank here anymore, we're doing a challenge. But for me right now, just on the information that I did researching it, Normal people should not react the way they do in those texts when you start spamming random song lyrics at them out of the blue. As completely expected, they reacted with both shock and confusion, which I know I would likely do the same if someone were to start texting me a bunch of random song lyrics. It's just not something that you expect from someone that either you really know really well, or it's just someone that you haven't spoken to in years. But again, that could just be because I have abnormal friends, and I could be completely wrong in this statement, which is why I am challenging you to do it yourself. If you think I'm wrong, prove me wrong. Either way, there's a good chance that you're going to have fun doing this, because I know I did. And honestly, don't worry about your friends getting upset at this, because if they have any sense of humor at all, they will likely go along with it. And well, they shouldn't be mad that you just randomly texted them some song lyrics. That's the most innocent thing you can do. But yeah, if you want to try it out yourself, go ahead. Just call it the Song Lyric Challenge. And on Saturday's video next week, I'll feature the best ones. But guys, thank you everyone so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. And if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I would love a new addition to the Snake Army. This video was pretty fun to make, so if you really liked it, please, I would love if you hit that like button. It would encourage me and make Make more videos like this where I try out some of these challenges or pranks myself and see how fucking staged they are. But that being said, I have yesterday's video playing on screen for whatever reason. If you missed it, I have it right there. Just click it, it'll send you right to it. It was a life story on a, well, 
how I almost got dropped from a college class. Yeah, it was a pretty interesting one. I highly recommend checking it out. And speaking of checking things out, why not check out Lord Bung? He only has like 3,000 subscribers. He is the most underrated channel on all of YouTube. Go check him out. He really deserves it. I swear that you will love his stuff. He works with a bunch of YouTubers and makes animations. They're really cool. But anyways, guys, this is Whiplash signing out.